Alright, this is our second Let's Play, Where's Waldo? Our first one was Shadowgate, check our channel for more. Alright, we're gonna start underway. In this game, you're Waldo and you're trying to get to the moon. Um, I don't know why, but... Here we go, train station. Yeah, so on all of these screens, you're actually wasting time. So we started at 9.59, you're at 9.43. Uh, this is on easy mode, it's impossibly hard to find Waldo on any other mode. There he is right there. Note how that kind of actually looks somewhat like him. Uh, on several levels when the palette changes, like the forest for instance, he won't even be red and white anymore. He'll be uh, green and brown. Uh, so the game cheats. Um, the key here is to look for the silly Waldo hat and a semi-elongated body. Yeah, there he is. He can be doing different things. He'll pop up in a manhole. Uh, sometimes hidden at random places you wouldn't expect. Uh, he doesn't even actually look like Waldo a lot of the time. Uh, this level, if you start it and you go to a very specific region, you'll uh, you'll see him right off the bat. I think it's upper right. Huh. Ah, now we found him. Now this hourglass can either cut your time by a hundred, like it just did, or add a hundred. Um, so that's unfortunate, but it's not that big of a deal, because on easy mode, you've got plenty of time. Other modes, it's definitely going to screw you over if it takes away 100. The map is actually also elongated on other difficulties, and that also adds to the difficulty significantly. Yeah, so here we go. We're actually looking for Waldo in real time. Uh, it doesn't seem too difficult now, but... The maps are two to three times bigger, depending on the mode of difficulty you choose. Waldo um, taking his sweet time around the city here, just knowing that we are on the clock. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't walk straight to the city, walks around the city first. Gives a little sneaky peeky, and then moves on in. Um, this level, Waldo can show up in manholes. Uh, oh, but here he is in the crowd. And if you miss Waldo, you actually end up losing time, so if you kick the wrong area, you know, that's trouble. But... Yeah, there's not too much to it. This is pretty much the game we're about halfway through right now. Alright, and speed run to apologize for how long it took us to beat Shadowgate in our last Let's Play. Well, that is true. I did boast that it was a 12 minute game, and while I still contend it is 12 minutes, it wasn't 12 minutes on that particular day. Just to give you a little heads up on this level, if you hit the A button, I believe... It will change the track in front of you. You do not want to go to the chimpanzee-looking gentleman. He will steal your time. You do need to collect the glasses before you can move on to the exit arrow. That chimpanzee guy, I always thought when I was growing up that he was the wizard, um, who was Waldo's buddy, but that actually came after this game was made. So I don't know what the deal is exactly with that. But, um, yeah, here we are, searching for the exit here, and we just found it. So, now that we've beaten the subway, we're gonna move to the castle. Which, again, none of these make any sense, but if you go in line with the books, the books don't really make a lot of sense. So, more of the same, but it's fun nonetheless. And that was easy. So here we are at the <laughs> last level. <laughs> the launch pad, which is actually kinda like a slot machine where you have to click the correct uh, sequence and get three Waldos in a row. Uh, so, this one being the hardest, we're going to want to look for the red-haired lady, which, shoot, I just screwed it up and clicked on. Um, so we're going to try again. Alright. Damn. Stupid red-haired lady. That's two for two. Got Count Chocula and Waldo. Alright, here we go. Alright, and red-haired lady. Okay, sweet. There's Waldo. There's Waldo again. Waldo is apparently after the red-haired lady in all three of these, and we beat the game. Excellent. Now sit back and enjoy. This is what the game is worth playing for, the sweet moon landing tunes. Exactly. So now that we've beaten this game in actually less than five minutes, you can take it back to the rental store and get your money back. And keep an eye out for our next Let's Play. I'll let you enjoy the music now. It all seems so worthwhile. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, there's a little progress bar signifying we made it to the moon. Why he wants to go to the moon, nobody knows. And now that we made it, it just resets.
And we're back. Hope you enjoyed this one. Keep an eye out for our next one. Subscribe. And check out our channel. Have fun.